Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I'm a teacher, author, gardener, seed saver, and family guy, and I teach people all over the world how to live more regeneratively so that they can partner with nature and have an abundant future. So we're talking today about why should I have a fall garden? And if I'm gonna do a fall garden, what's gonna be successful? Because obviously winter squash is not gonna grow in your winter or fall garden. But things like kale, mustard, fava beans, and field peas, snow peas, you know, those kind of things do really well. So I highly recommend trying out those seeds and planting a fall garden because it builds your soil, it prepares the garden for next year, it covers your soil and protects it, it gives you food when you really need it. You know, the hunger gap is called the hunger gap because we're hungry for fresh food. And so that's why things like kale, cabbage, peas, and all these other wonderful things are so amazing because when nothing else grows, they grow. So you can chop them down at the end of the season and turn them into mulch, or you can start your fall off during your seed saving by putting down mulch. And this is gonna build so much soil here and it's going to rejuvenate this area. And so the beans, the all the mulch, what's left of the corn, the corn didn't do well here. This, this soil um, was very shallow. And uh, this corn that likes to go really, really tall couldn't do that in this soil. Uh, and it got really hot because of this concrete right here. So it needs the soil to be really built up. And then it probably needs a pergola here or a trellis here to make it so that the sun is not as intense on this concrete so that it doesn't conduct the heat in here and bake the bed. So this mulch is super critical for keeping the temperature of this soil down and it's gonna make it so this garden thrives when I am not here because we're leaving <laughs> and we're not gonna be taking care of this. I'm gonna stop by in about a month and a half and collect seed. And then I'm going to chop everything down and have it all cover this area because when if you remember the first videos when I arrived it was all barren and now I've got weeds growing I've got beans growing and I've got a lot of mulch going this area is going to be completely changed it's got perennials growing in it it's got those golden berries that grow like weeds in this kind of climate so they're an edible delicious amazing thing and this area is going to become something unbelievable and I really hope the people who move in if you're watching this, I prepared the area and so you will be able to take this over with the best soil, with a chop and drop system already started up. And that's how I try to go with every place I stay. Uh, I know a lot of you are renters, aren't landowners, most of us are not landowners. And a lot of people wonder, should I have a garden? Should I develop the soil? Should I plant trees? Plant them for the next people. Get that garden ready for the next person so you get them off on head start you know because we need to be developing all the lands that we already have that we've degraded and we need to be creating an abundance of food wherever we live so we can do those all things all together we can start composting our kitchen scraps and our paper and our cardboard turning it into soil seed saving using all that kind of stuff trimmings from the yard, grass clumpings, everything you can think of to start building our soils. I hope that you plan a fall garden, not just for the food, not just for the fun, but for the soil. And I hope that you have a resilient and wonderful fall. Learn daily, grow abundantly, and live regeneratively.